So here's what probably happened, you guys. Like I said before, she, you know, she probably kissed somebody. She probably, I don't know, she probably had feelings toward another guy, Justin. Although he was very attractive, he was a, he was a star, right? He, like I said before, he wasn't as big as her, but he was a star in his own right at the time. And, you know, but she probably got bored with him. You know, Justin, in actuality, was the good guy. They were so young. I say this all the time. Younger women sometimes, not everybody, younger women tend to go after the bad boy, right? And Justin was not bad. So baby, when you ready, hit my line. Tell me what you want to do. I know you still really do, 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 do. you guys I first before we get started into this video as always I just want to take time to thank my subscribers thank you guys so much for supporting me um, I really appreciate it thank you for subscribing to my channel if you are not currently subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead and click that subscribe button also you guys I do have a patreon account where I talk about personal stories uncut and unfiltered this week's topic okay this week's topic is about if women are still able to enjoy sex without experiencing an orgasm, okay? So if you wanna hear me talk about that, go ahead and sign up. The link is going to be posted in the first comment pinned to the top. I do have another channel called Brandy Beer VTV also. Look for that link also in the first comment pinned to the top. You guys also don't forget to like the video, please. Don't forget to comment. All those things helps YouTube put the video out into the algorithm so that the video will do well. And if you support me and you love me and you want the video to do well, you would do these things for me. <laughs> so now let's get into this video. So today, you guys, we are going to be talking about Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. And I thought this was a perfect time to talk about Britney and Justin because Britney has been in the news for several months, right? We've seen Britney battling her conservatorship with her family, right? That's been a complete drag. And now, m most recently, the news broke that her sister is writing a tell-all book about her experience with Britney as a child, right, as her sister. And it's just really sad to see all of this drama unfold about Britney. You guys, I am actually really super excited to talk about Britney and Justin because I remember this relationship. I was so excited about Britney and Justin. They were literally the hottest teen couple. It was very nice. You guys, they were so cute. They were like literally a perfect match. And when they broke up, I was team Justin because I felt like Britney let the good guy go. I felt like, dang, Britney, Justin is attractive. You know, he's, he's an entertainer just like her. You know, he wasn't as big as her, but you know, he was an entertainer. Like they just seemed like a perfect match and it seemed like she let the good guy get away. But did she really, did, did Britney really let the good guy get away? Probably did. Or did Justin do my girl dirty? Would Britney's life would have been different if she had stayed with Justin? No. So we're going to talk about the reasons why I think Justin was not the guy who got away. And did Britney cheat on him or not? Okay, so reason number one I think Justin was not the guy who got away is because Justin was a chatty patty. Brittany and Justin started dating in 1999. They had known each other since they were very young, first meeting at the Mickey Mouse Club when they were just 11 and 12 years old. And it was so cute because after Justin and Brittany, you know, they met when they were just 11 to 12 years old, but then years later, they ended up meeting again and they ended up actually getting into a relationship. So that little story was so cute to me. Brittany and Justin were literally the hottest teen couple. From the way they met in the Mickey Mouse Club, the matching denim outfits, calling each other Pinky and Stinky, yes, those were their nicknames for each other, performing together at the Super Bowl. So you guys, they were literally the cutest. But in those three years that they dated, or maybe before they dated, Brittany had said that she wanted to wait to have sex before marriage. Now you guys, I know that this is kind of old news, right? Because Brittany's sexuality, you know, more, more about her sexuality about this during this time has come out. For example, her mom, Lynn Spears, she came up with a tell-all book, right? Everybody's coming out with a tell-all book on Britney. It's so sad, all of her family, including her mom. That's just such a shame. But she came out and said that Britney actually broke her virginity when she was four, just 14 years old. And it's such a shame because damn, her own mom 
profited off of telling her business like that. It's just, it's really sad. But not only was Britney's own family against her, Justin Timberlake was against her as well. Justin sat his ratchet ass down with Barbara Walters, and when she asked him, did they live up to the challenge, right, of Britney not losing her virginity, his goofy self was like, oh yeah, sure, <laughs> yeah, sure. It's like, really, Justin, really? You couldn't like just say you don't wanna speak on that topic. You had to say something and be sarcastic. Shady. But yeah, what Justin did was totally unnecessary and Britney was super devastated that he did this to her. And you guys, like, that situation reminded me of like a petty boyfriend. Like, you know how when you're in a relationship, you send your man like sexy pictures, like you might send like, you know, you might send a naked picture, you might send something very, very sexy, right? And it's kind of like, after y'all break up, you know, he threatens you to, to freaking post those photos on the internet. So it's kind of, it kind of reminded me of that situation, which is not cool at all. I'm telling you guys, ladies, I'm telling you right now, when you send naughty pictures to your man, cut your face off. I'm warning you, okay, you've been warned. I mean, honestly, you guys, in life, we set plans, right? We, we plan to do certain things. And sometimes, a lot of times, those plans do not work out the way we planned them. So, I mean, I get it, she slept with him, so what? Okay, so reason two, I think Brittany did not let the good guy get away, Justin is because he capitalized off of her image. In 2002, Britney and Justin called it quits and reportedly the breakup happened at Saturday Night Live backstage. And oh my gosh, I'm sure that that place has seen its fair share of drama, breakups, all fights, all sorts of things. I would literally want to be a freaking fly on the wall at Saturday Night Live backstage to see all the drama and juicy things that, you know, juicy things that go on. It's just like, wow. Anyways, Justin, right, as we know, he ended up creating an entire album dedicated to his ex, Britney, a not so nice album dedicated to his ex, Britney. One song in particular, Cry Me A River, hinted that Britney was this horrible cheating girlfriend. And he even had Britney lookalike appear in his music video. You guys, I remember watching this video thinking, wow, she really did cheat on him. He's got a lookalike in the video. Like, he is seriously hurt behind this. Like, this is an actual thing that occurred. So, Justin, just like many, you know, many of the fans who were a fan of their relationship, he had everybody thinking that this girl just did him dirty. It, it was, uh, looking back on it, it definitely had this great expectations vibe to it. You know, the reason, the actual reason why they broke up was never actually revealed because they made a promise to each other, right? Um, to never say anything. Sure. <laughs> sure. But it's actually quite clear that Britney cheated on him or maybe, you know, maybe she didn't go all the way with somebody, but, or maybe she was thinking about, she, she definitely did something. Britney had this to say in an interview. Britney was asked if she cheated on Justin. Diane Sawyer said, you broke his heart. You did something that caused him so much pain, so much suffering. What did you do? Britney said, I think everyone has a side of the story to make them feel a certain way. And I'm not technically saying he's wrong, but I'm not technically saying he's right either. Okay, that's confusing. Britney, did you cheat or not? So she did not answer, right, with a clear answer, which means she probably cheated. So here's what probably happened, you guys. Like I said before, she, you know, she probably kissed somebody. She probably, I don't know, she probably had feelings toward another guy, Justin, although he was very attractive. He was a, he was a star, right? He, like I said before, he wasn't as big as her, but he was a star in his own right at the time. And, you know, but she probably got bored with him. You know, Justin, in actuality, was the good guy. They were so young. I say this all the time. Younger women sometimes, not everybody, younger women tend to go after the bad boy, right? And Justin was not that, okay? He just was not that. And I feel like, I feel like, you know, she really wanted it to work out, but she just didn't have those feelings for him. You know, she, I think she loved him, and I think she wanted to feel a certain way about him. But, you know, it just wasn't the case. I think that uh, it's just a situation of, it's just young love. And I say this because, I say, I, I say she probably cheated or she probably at least kissed someone, is because she was accused of cheating with Wade Robson. And so she probably let Justin know the deal, what was up. 
you know, of course he probably was upset and, you know, crying and stuff like that. She was upset and crying, but, and I, I say that because we, we all saw who she dated after Justin, right? She, she dated her, you know, one of her backup dancers who was, you know, didn't have a lot going on. So that's why I say it was probably that kind of situation. She probably wanted the bad boy and it wasn't Justin. And you guys, I can really empathize with what Britney was, you know, with, with Britney because I've been there too, honestly. Like, I was young once, really young in my early 20s once, and you know, I dated some really good guys, you know, good guys, not, you know, the bad boy, but something in me was like, dang, you know, this is a good guy, but I kinda want a guy with a little edge, with a swag, so that's kind of what happened with Britney, I feel like. You know, I feel like, she wanted to have a good time. She wanted to have fun. And you know, it's it's really hard because when your family loves this person, when you know that this person is a good person, it's really hard, you know? So she was probably just really devastated that she didn't have those feelings for Justin. I could see that. But you know, you guys, people always think the person who does the cheating um, doesn't have any feelings or, you know, doesn't feel bad. That could be far from the truth because the person who is cheating is actually hurting too. I mean, it sounds crazy to you, right? But being in those types of situations myself, it's not like I, you know, I was so happy about che cheating. It was just, you, you know, you feel so bad about it that, you know, things could not work out. But I mean, things sometimes just don't work out and sometimes you, you can't force yourself to have feelings. So that's what I think happened. I think she was so devastated by this. Um, and, and things, you know, him talking about it with, in his interview just made things even worse. But honestly, you guys, I do understand why Justin did what he did as well. He was young too, right? He, you know, he was the petty ex-boyfriend. He was probably really, really hurt, obviously. Um, and he, capi he really capitalized off of this situation. I mean, he, it was a smart move for his career. You know, he probably had people in the background saying, Man, you could really blow up, you know? This could really be your opportunity to get out there. So, you know, at, he took the opportunity and you know, you can't really blame him for that. But at the same time, in him doing this, he really damaged her image. The Framing of Britney Spears documentary was released in early 2021. The documentary highlights the wrongdoings by Britney's family, her team, and anyone else looking to profit off of her struggles. And you guys, in the wake of this documentary, Justin Timberlake decided to apologize because I think he finally realized, okay, when I was younger, I did her dirty and he knew it. He had this to say specifically. I specifically want to apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson both individually because I care for and respect these women and I know I failed. So Justin knew he was wrong. Justin knew years ago what he did to that girl. And finally, you know, he's older now, he's probably reflecting, he probably realizes, man, you know, it wasn't right. So he, you know, there was a reason why he apologized. Could he have been benefiting again off the situation? I don't think so because he doesn't have a project coming out or anything. So I don't think that's the case. I really do think that he was genuine this time. You know, he's older, he's reflecting. I think he, the apology was sincere. Honestly, I mean, you know, we're not perfect. So honestly, you guys, I, you know, I think that Justin was not the good guy that got away. I think he was another vulture after Britney's, you know, capitalizing off of Britney's image. So I, I, I do not think that he was the good guy that got away. Maybe if he hadn't said anything, maybe if he had kept his loyalty to Britney, kept his promise to Britney, hey, I'm not gonna talk about the, the breakup, you know, I'm not gonna make sarcastic comments and interviews and anything like that. I think they probably would be on good terms, you know, could have been on good terms or maybe even get back together, who knows. But, you know, the fact that he did all that, Brittany did not let the good guy get away. I do not think like that anymore. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Justin was the good guy who got away? Do you think that if Brittany had stayed with Justin, do you think her life would have turned out differently? Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi, guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.